वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्या नगर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यूएटेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside their classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to communication engineering lab 3 this is experiment number 1 title simulation of shannon hartley theorem Our objective is to study Shannon-Hartley theorem for understanding information carrying capacity of a channel. The Shannon-Hartley theorem goes as follows: C equal to b into log to the base two, one plus s by n. C where C is the channel capacity in bits per second, b is the bandwidth of the channel in hertz, s is the average received signal power over the bandwidth, n is the average noise or interference power over the bandwidth, and s by n is the signal to noise ratio. Now let's look into the pro program. Let's go to file. new script now we are done with the typing of the program let's uh, check the program step by step clc is used to clear all the data on the command window clear all is used to clear all the uh, objects in the workspace of matlab now we define snr db in array form next we need to convert snr into linear form the dot operator which is used in front of this arithmetic operator is used for array multiplication similarly over here also it is used for the same and now we define few bandwidths like we define three bandwidths for which uh, we write the formula of channel capacity next we need to plot so we use subplot subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 means that the given rectangular figure is divided into rows and columns that is two rows one column and the first uh, space is being accessed by us next we need to plot it uh, plot the signals Plot S N R D B comma C one, S N R D B comma C two, S N R D B comma C three. Uh, this is the plot of S N R and D B versus. Uh, this is the plot of channel capacity versus S N R and D B. We get the X label, Y label, and title for the plot, and we define legends. Legends are basically defined to tell which uh, line is for which bandwidth. Next, we put grid on. That is the grid on is used for uh, dividing the given figure into grids. the same uh, steps are followed for plotting the uh, snr in linear and uh, channel capacity subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 means that the second space is being accessed by us uh, and next we are plotting snr linear and channel capacity the x label for this is snr in linear and y label is channel capacity title for this graph is channel capacity versus snr in linear and legends are defined for this also and next grid on grids are also given for this now let's check the output See these are the legends that we defined. That is, blue is for bandwidth one, green is for bandwidth two, red is for bandwidth three. So as you can see from this, as SNR goes on increasing, the channel capacity goes on increasing. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.